What's up, my lovely jewels and gems? It's y'all girl, Nettie Nett, and I'm back. Here to check with the family, whoever's available, as well as baking a cake <laughs> from scratch. Get in here so I can see the check, of course. Hey, Leilani, how are you today? Happy Friday. Hey, Nervins, how are you? Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Y'all can see I ain't even used to using my computer. I'm used to using my phone. I'm trying to get used to it. Pretty good. My dad and them are down there doing ribs and chicken. Oh, there I go popping in, but I'm loud. Hold on. And um, I've been baking cakes and selling them by the slice. So I'm about to bake cake. So I figured I can come on and speak to the family while I'm doing that. Then do I, what do I hit here? To make the chat bigger. So how you been, Nervins? And, and Leilani. <laughs> I know Nervins be wanting to hear about the, uh, how I feel about certain things on the YouTube streets. They just crazy. So, I know Leilani's a cook. I don't know if Nervin's a cook, but starting with butter. I started with three sticks of butter and I'm making it like really kind of like creaming it up a little bit. But it's at the point now where I could add some sugar to it. So, it's a old family member recipe um of seven up cake but i've been using sprite because sprite is the new age seven up it's like no nah, seven up is okay that's what i usually use but i tried sprite the other night and it came out bomb so um Mr. Mover, I go put this right here put, pick it up pick it up for a minute Does it fit with it? Okay, we're trying to put my my chat so I can see at the same time as I'm talking. That makes sense. Push it back. And y'all can still see the bowl. Push it back once you don't drop. A little something, something. It's good. Oh, I ain't know it can come back, so okay. You see it now? Yeah. Okay. So my butter's still sticking to the spoon. So now I'm going to add some sugar and I usually add three cups of sugar. I was looking online and a lot of the recipes on there, I didn't really look up a 7-Up cake recipe, but they use two things of butter and I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm guessing it wouldn't be as moist with two things of butter. I don't know. Hey, darling, do you make homemade cakes? And then how many sticks of butter do you use? I'm just wondering. Because it said, like, not even two sticks of butter is a cup. And I use three sticks. So, that's way more than a cup of sugar. And it's usually not that sweet. Now, the edges, they come out nice and, of course, brown, crispy, and sweet. And then, <clears throat> of course, I don't put any icing on the cake because it's already sweet enough. So, I 
hate when this butter sticks to the spoon like this. But once I get this consist ugh, consistency right, it'll stop sticking. I'm making sure I can see my chat. Hey, Deron and Jazz. How are you, sweetie? What is everybody up to? You working this weekend, Jazz? So, I'm going down there. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that uh, my, um, my brother, who is... Uh, 19 or 20 now. That's a shame because I'll be forgetting her ages. I think he's they're going to be 20 this year, I think. They're going to be 20. So him and my nephew they just not I ain't going to say they're not good but they're getting into this street stuff these days. And I ain't liking it. So, my brother lives in South Carolina. So, he's not always up here. But, one of his friends got into a fight the other day. And they decide they all want to jump in. And they get into a fight with older guys. The ones that are usually... Well, they're not my age. But, they're kids that I used to take care of when they were younger. So, they're about maybe... In their late 20s early 30s and there was just this big fight and nobody wants to tell me about it and I don't like that because they know me usually I'm the one that when I see everybody getting all hyper and upset then I get hyper and upset but it's between a rock and a hard place because they're all family to me Oh. Oh, good. Dean likes to help me, but I, I really like doing this first process. I, I be wanting his help when it gets thicker and more consistency to it. Um, so I think he gets offended because he'd be rather stir it for me. But honestly, it takes time to do this cake. It takes about an hour for me to mix this cake up because I have to do everything one at a time. Now, we tried conjoining ingredients at once, and the cake didn't come out right. So, you have to do everything one at a time. So, each cup of sugar, I make sure I have to mix it in thoroughly and soft to a, 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 um, you know, a nice, firm... Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Consistency. I don't want to keep on using that word, but that's what I need here. Once it's good and firm, then I can add my third cup. But you want to have the sugar blended in with the butter and smoothed in. You know, not all capey and gritty because that makes the cake gritty. So, honestly, the smoother that you have your ingredients as you're mixing, the more smoother and better your cake will come out. I try using the mixer sometimes, but I prefer doing a homemade cake by hand. It just don't come out the same. I ain't gonna say it don't come out good, but I'm gonna say it don't come out good, but it seems like um because of everything is so thick, um and it's very thick. It's like mashed potatoes at first. But because it's so thick, it sticks up into the, the um the mixer. The blender, you know what I'm trying to say. The little arms on the blender. Like it's doing on this spoon. And I wonder, y'all. You know what? Maybe it's the metal. Because I used a plastic spoon the other day. And I believe it was a little easier. And I think because the butter was sliding off the spoon a little easier. So, I'm going to change that. I'm sorry. Isn't it? And, honey... This bowl been in our family for years. My mom bought it. Actually, she got it for her and my dad's wedding anniversary, right? Let me tell you, there's history in this big bowl. This bowl is a punch bowl from back in the day. 
but we've been using it for years. My dad has been using it for, he borrowed it from my mom years ago to um, do his business when we were doing, um, before he did ribs, um, and I always say I started cooking at 12, I did, because we started doing dinners in our house back in the day. Once my mom and dad split up, my dad moved up the street, so <clears throat> he sold fish, chicken, fried fish, chicken, macaroni and cheese, potato salad, and collard greens, and pig feet for years in our kitchen. And people just came to our house, and our house was, like, open to everybody. And, um, you know, that was anywhere from 10, 11 o'clock in the afternoon till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and sometimes until the next day. But that's just how our family is. Our house was always open to everybody. But my dad would do dinners, needless to say, and I would help him. Cause I was always the one in the kitchen with my hand over my head when I was younger. Like, what is he doing? So I learned everything he did. Well, he taught me. <laughs> it is a lot easier with the plastic spoon. Now that makes sense. It's a lot easier with the plastic spoon family instead of a metal spoon. <laughs> okay, I thought that it was not I didn't have to use so much wrist power then. But, um, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep up with y'all. It's, it's supposed to, it's a, the recipe from a homemade 7-Up cake. But I'm using Sprite nowadays. I've been using 7-Up for years. But I noticed that my 7-Up, when I drink 7-Up, it goes flat fast. So, I'm like, Sprite came out after 7-Up, and it's a little, a little more crisper, and it stays fresh a little longer. So, I was like, let me try Sprite, and it gave it more of a pop of a lemon-lime taste. So, well, not lime, but lemon, you know, that taste. So, it's a homemade, homemade 7-Up cake recipe, but with Sprite. Yes. Thank you, Leilani. Oh, you got some sleep for once. That's what's up. We all need that, boo. And um, so the bowl, look, my dad borrowed it from my mom years ago. And I remember my mom for years always, when your dad going to give my bowl back? But because he cooked for so many years, he just kept the bowl. And he's like, what does she mean? That's our bowl. Because <laughs> they got it for their wedding. My dad got remarried. He still had the bowl. So, finally, um, about when I was in South Carolina, actually. So, about five years ago. Mind y'all, my mom just passed two years ago. About five years ago, my dad gave me the bowl and said, give this bowl back to your mom. Here's my third cup of sugar now. And that's it for the sugar. So he's like, give this bowl back to your mom. So I'm like, okay. So I told my mom I had the bowl. I'm going to bring your bowl back. My dad went and bought him another bowl. Of course, it's not this big. But it's pretty much like it. So he said, give your mom her bowl back. And um, I kept telling my mom, I got to bring your bowl. I got to bring your bowl. And I had it all this time. And... Of course now since my mom passed i inherited her bowl so this bowl is well over almost 40 years now it has to be when they got this bowl so that's the story of this bowl and now i have the bowl and the bowl is still oh my gosh it might have one dent in the bottom that's what's funny about it because it's still i guess they don't make stuff like this these days but that's the history of the bowl kind of got sad a little bit because y'all know I've been missing my mother. That was my girl. But she in a better place than here, y'all. And we know that's right. But let me see what y'all talk about. I'm sorry. Let's 
So you do, do so you do you use four four um sticks of butter? Cause I tried that once. I used four sticks of butter in the same seven up cake recipe. And um it came out very moist. It was still good, but it was moist, too moist. And um, but I want to know what I would have to use, and I guess it would be milk versus the seven up to make turn it to like a pound cake and i used that one day too but i think it came out like it didn't come out right and i guess too because on these cakes y'all it's an hour and a half baking time after i'm mixing it for about an hour and i and i do that because like i said look you need a good amount of a, like mashed potato consistency and this is just butter and sugar. A big lump of butter and sugar. Ugh. So now I'm gonna start adding my eggs. One at a time. So I put six eggs in. That's why it's so time consuming. I'm like, people don't understand when I say I don't really feel like making a cake. You have to be mentally, physically meaning it takes arm power. And when you got arthritis in your fingers like me, it takes hand power. So that's why Dean offers the help. So I try to do as much as I can myself and then Dean will help later when it gets a little harder to mix but see at this point it's getting it's getting easier now once you add the egg because it gets moist you know I'm sorry I don't know if I'm behind on comments let me keep up Selena Francis good morning how are you that's me always in the kitchen <laughs> Yeah, well, lately, we've been doing more in the kitchen than on Because uh, I'm, like, tired of buying out all the time. I'm just trying to scroll down because I don't know. If, yeah, I'm behind on comments. Hold on, I'm going to keep up. Just equal amounts of sugar, butter, flour. And eggs make the right consistency. If you add another stick of butter. Oh, okay. I would have to add, okay, more eggs with another stick of butter. And that's probably why it came out too moist that time. Oh, do you use powdered sugar all the way through? No, no granulated at all. Cause I just used the um powder sugar, the confection sugar. I just put that on top once the cake is done. So you use that through the whole thing. Hmm. Isn't that a little sweeter than granulated sugar? Just wondering. I never tried that. That granulated sugar is sweet. But I remember when we was younger and not having sugar in the house. Oh, oh. And we only had granulated. And I would use that in my cornflakes. So I'll be, I, I'm nervous of that granulated. Like it's good on funnel cake and on top of cake. But I'm like, mm, I can't see it being, being um, substituted, but that's because I, I, my mind plays tricks on me when it comes to certain foods and, and, and stuff. So like, if the if it ain't right, then I. When I say that, I'm talking about the cake. When the consistency ain't right, then I, I'll be like, oh no, it didn't come out right. You know, start panicking all crazy. No, not sweeter. Okay. And that's the confection sugar, right?
Oh, okay. It got a little cornstarch to it. So that must help with stuff to help stuff get a little thicker at, at the same time too. Cause I know um I don't use cornstarch much, but I know we used to use it to help make gravy thicker. <laughs> Jay said I'm lazy. Not at all. I've been sleeping all week, honey. I'm just getting up today. Um because they're um down there doing ribs and Dean's setting up to go do some flea marketing. And um look y'all now it's starting to whip up. It's starting to get to a whipped a whipped consistency now. Hey, Tamika Chaplin, how are you today? Yes, I haven't had cornflakes in years and I need to. It's a shame because I'm, I'm not really, as I got older, I don't drink too much milk. And my grandma got me addicted back in the day to having cornflakes with no sugar. I used to love it. I used to love it. They'd be like, you don't need no sugar. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're right. And it tastes better without sugar. But, you know, of course, we always add a spoon or so. I don't know what's wrong with me. I got to, um, and I know other people might have the same addiction. When I go in the store, I see new cereals and I pick them up. And they're just sitting on top of my refrigerator. I probably got about 10 boxes of cereal in my refrigerator. And Dean and Dean, they'll have cereal every once in a blue moon. Me, if I see it and it's new, then I'll try one bowl and then I'm like done. But I think because when we were younger, we lived off the cereal. Like sometimes my mom would take us to the store. We would get our own box of cereal. And that was our dinner. <laughs> like you can have your own box of cereal. And um, you can have two, three bowls if you wanted to. You didn't have to argue with nobody over your cereal. So that was kind of sweet. When you got three other siblings when we were younger, of course, um, it's kind of hard sharing one box of cereal, especially when your brother wanted to pour a bowl and sit there with the box in front of him and watch. Every little picture, I'm saying watch, because we did, we watched our box of cereal like it was TV when we ate our cereal. And don't tell me y'all didn't do that. But when they used to do like, it wasn't Where's Waldo, but they used to do stuff like that. It used to be activities on the boxes of cereal that would keep you entertained for a while. We didn't have video games. We didn't have phones. We had the box, the back of the box of cereal that we was able to sit and watch, look at for a while to try to figure out what was going on. If it wasn't Captain, Captain um, Hook from Captain Crunch, they used to have a little mission on the back of his box with the ship, all kinds of stuff they don't do anymore. Then they used to put prizes in the boxes. They don't do that anymore. You know, that used to make it a little more worth buying the box of cereal, you know? Knowing that you was going to get something there to watch. Back in the day, they used to give um, prizes in the cracker. Well, they still do give prizes in the cracker check boxes, but they ain't like they used to be. So. <laughs> I said my brother does that. Yes, there we are. I know I used to do it. Nowadays, you got the phone to look at while you're eating your cereal, but. I'm making sure I'm keeping up on chat, y'all, because I tell y'all, my chat is on my um, computer, and uh, it looks like I'm behind, so give me one second. Sorry if I'm not keeping up. Keeps the box in front of him. He does. <laughs> 
always sitting in front of them. Yeah, back in the day, of course, there was activities on the box of cereal. So we, it was like watching TV. It was something to do. Sometimes we would pick out the cereal according to what activities were on the box. Or what gift was in the box. They don't do that no more. Just like this thing, um, you know, I don't um, really be talking about stuff that's in the news too much, but that whole um, thing with the uh, aerial thing, I don't see the big deal. I don't see what's the hype. Like they said, for years, she was one color. And again, I didn't think she was a, a um, white in the beginning. I thought she was... I'm going to assume Dean's doing something. Yeah. I don't like hearing strange sounds. Then he had to go. Got to jump. It's like, nah. But, um, yeah, whatever. But it's a time where you got to start changing up, you know? Um, when I looked at all the toys that we have here, There's not many black toys here. And I'm going to tell you all that because little Dean, he collects dolls and stuffed animals and all kinds of stuff. But when I turned around and looked, we don't have any. There's one that he has that's like, she looks like. She's supposed to be black, but she's not. And that's, that's sad. You know, he doesn't see anything wrong with it. And that's good because I never raised him to see a difference. But at the same time, when he found out that Ariel was black, he was very excited. Very excited to see. Because he loves mermaids, y'all. Y'all know this. Mermaids are his dream of being with seeing he i guess if he could go and trade and be in the sea he'd probably do that it scares me sometimes but um i just say that because he loves mermaids so much he thinks they're real he studies them he's been showing me i'm washed up on shore and i don't know what it is but i don't know it makes me sick and think are they real you know, but at the same time, I follow many mermaids on Instagram. And a lot of them are black and white and Spanish and Mexican. You know what I mean? They're boys, girls, you know, like they're everything. So would they be upset if they turn Ariel to a boy that could sing? And just change his name and just flip the whole script around? Would it be the same? Like, you know, or would they be? Well, I'm guessing at this point, and this is just my question. Is the king and Ariel's boyfriend, are they going to be black as well? Or did they keep them white? And I say that because I don't know, first of all, because they have made such a big issue on how Ariel is going to look that we don't even know this, the whole thing about when it's coming out or if it's coming out, right? But at the same time, if he's white and she's black, does that make a big difference? It really don't in my eyes, you know? Sad because nowadays, when you think of love, the way I was raised at 42 years old, I was raised that love sees no color. Although I've seen a lot of racist in my life, I've been treated very bad by certain people in my life um, due to the color of my skin. Um, has hurt me, but do I hold it to others because of one's ignorance nah you really can't you know because there's just sometimes there's ignorant people out here sometimes 
Oh, hold on, something in here. I don't know. It might be a piece of paper for my egg, because it was on my egg. Y'all be careful. Y'all don't know my egg boxing on be for real. <laughs> One of my eggs cracked. So part of the box was on my egg. So I gotta be careful on that one. That was, I seen a piece of the um, carton on the egg and I should have took it off and I didn't, so it ended up in here. Y'all, I'm talking and I forgot how many eggs I put in already. All right, I'm at five. I don't wanna add too much, I'll be in trouble. But, that's just the way I see it. I don't see the hype. I don't see why people are upset. All I know is that people are showing their true colors when they speak out about the whole situation or incident or have a personal opinion in general about it. Dean, when you get a chance, can you bring my charger for me? Yeah, true. No matter what, they're going to complain. It was just said that it was like a, a trending thing. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure I'm keeping up on comments. Yes, she is winning. Ain't nothing they could do about it now. And that's true, Leilani. Yeah, her voice is perfect for the mermaid. You're right. So what they want to use her voice and not use her face. I mean, what is going on here? Yep. I agree with that, too. I agree with them picking her for the role. She is beautiful. I was surprised because I did think they were going to give her, like, red hair, which I thought would kind of be cute, but they're doing black hair. But I, I like the red hair. I do like the red hair. But I think that's just because that's what's in our mind from when we was younger. It really don't matter to me the color of the skin. It really don't. I mean, she can have a best friend and they make her have two, black and white, you know? If it gotta be that major. But at the end of the day, she's doing her thing. She got her part in the movie. And I'm excited to see what's going to come out. And I'm definitely going to see it. Definitely going to support it. Definitely going to end up with one of those dolls in my house because I got all the other ones here that are mermaids. Um, oh, I didn't even see it with the red dreads. I didn't see that. I only seen the one real ignorant one that, that they had made with her teeth. <sighs> That's when I got upset. I ain't like that. So, um, I didn't see all the other ones. I, I, I haven't even been watching it. I've been just seeing the blogs, um, what, on the cake? Oh, I guess I'm taking a long time. I can tell I better hurry up and get the cake in. So, look, guys, now it's starting to... Let me put my, uh, charger in. Five eggs. I need one more. So y'all, just for proof, my carton's on me. <laughs> so I gotta be careful. And Jones be sticking. But um, the eggs. I got them for what was they one something. 
They was on a discount because one egg was broken. And I was like, they could have just took that one egg out. And, um, but I guess they still had to give it as a discount, right? So, y'all know me. I went in there and bought them discount eggs. One can be broken. That's fine with me. <clears throat> one less egg for my 18 count ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So, I'll take the discount. I ain't mean, bougie. As long as they wasn't cracked like that. It was one cracked egg in there. I was like, I'm taking this. Got the yellow uh, tag special. I'm taking it. So. This is the consistency I like. And you can like. It's starting to really look like a cake now, y'all. But now I got to start adding in flour so this is where it starts to thicken back up this is where i might have to add the the chicken so yeah whoo them young kids be loving the cake y'all I make the cake and y'all know that they come down there they be having the munchies and they be on this cake so i'm like oh well buy it up i was going to do two but it takes too long just to do one and then like i said it got an hour bake time so an hour and a half is on it i usually take it out once it's done done because if you keep it in for a whole hour and a half sometimes depending on your oven i have an electric oven so it tends to cook a little bit faster so i try to keep it in there about an hour 15 minutes or so and i keep the temperature a lot lower um instead of 350 i usually put it on like three we've been putting it on like 330 because of the electric oven, right? And I'm wasting butter. I mean, flour outside the bag. So now I gotta add three cups. Like I did the sugar, three cups of flour. And y'all can see. Okay. And there's the mixing. This is where it starts to get thick again. Sometimes I don't be feeling like it's gonna come out right when it helps. Babe, you gotta get all around everything like, first. I'm sorry, but <laughs> if you be trying to rush it, there's definitely a, a difference in women baking and men. So I'm gonna take well, a second. The point is, somebody asked why are we making the cake? We're making the cake for sale. So if I'm in here and I'm making cake all day, oh, I can't make sorry. any sales, and I definitely can't show y'all what's going on outside in the outside world. Yeah. And I started late, and today it's supposed to rain in the nighttime, so it's very important. Like they say, early bird catches the worm. It's very true. So yeah, that's why I'm making cake. I didn't see y'all comments. I'm sorry. Yes, we're making cake because we do. Um, my dad does the ribbon chicken business, so I go down there and sell slices of cake on our uh, flea market table. And just before I add my third cup of flour, hey Robin Nia, how are you? Mm 
<laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I know the comments went up too fast for me. But I seen Rob and Nia come in. I'm glad to see them. <clears throat> now I'm going to add my Sprite, y'all. Ooh. I did drop it earlier. So, one cup of Sprite. One cup, not including the bubbles. One cup of Sprite. And then I instantly, wait, before you stir that. Before you stir the soda up, you add that cup of flour in. You add the last cup of flour in and it makes a big difference if you don't. But before you even mix the soda, now this is just the recipe that I go by. Y'all might try something different at home, but I'm trying to tell y'all it always comes out right when I do that because that's what I was told to do by the person that taught me how to make this cake. So, once I add the third cup of flour, the soda and the third cup of flour at the same time. Okay, good. Now it's good to mix. And I don't know um, well, I can show y'all later the video, I mean, a picture of how the cake come out. But if y'all seen yesterday's video, I did show at the end of the video the slices of the cake, how it comes out. Show them now. Now you see a cake size amount in the bowl. So, only thing I have to do now, let me get a spoon. No teaspoon. I can actually, I don't need it. I can measure it by hand. So, now the only thing I have to add in here is a teaspoon. Y'all remember that, a teaspoon. I'm just used to doing it by eye now. A teaspoon of vanilla. This is. Pure lemon extract. Pure lemon extract. There's some other kind of lemon extract, but you don't want that. You want the pure lemon extract. It's white. Smells straight up like lemon. So you want a teaspoon of pure lemon extract and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you don't want too much because that lemon will give your cake a whole nother kick that will be too lemony. So you want to be careful on the amount of lemon and vanilla you add because that all, you know, they're very potent. So it will make a big difference in your cake if you use too much. So... Trust me, I've had cakes that I've made and then I sold a slice and somebody's like, oh, it's a little too moist or, oh, it's a little lemony. And it's like, okay, well, it's a 7-Up cake and it's a lemon-lime base. So, you're going to taste a little lemon. But then I realized, be easy on that lemon. You know, don't let it drip over and all that on the spoon. So, I learned to be really just dab at it. Just put a little dab in there because it's really potent. And there you go. Now we have a cake consistency. And she's done. She's ready to go in. Dean is over there putting a little bit of oil. Old school. With that. A little bit of oil. And a little bit of flour. 
in the bundt cake pan. And then we're going to pour her in. Down and turn. Okay. Turn. Could have lifted it up a little bit just so you can see oh. the consistency right. of the cake. Just real go. quick. There you yeah. go. So y'all can see. It's a cake. Okay, I'm gonna put it down because of course we gotta get this bowl straight because it's a big bowl. And it usually always tastes the same because we're using the same ingredients. Sure. Go ahead. So yeah, I was thinking about coming live later when we're down there at the barbecue pit. Um, to do, um, I was thinking about doing like, you know how the uh, YouTubers, they go out and they do like a survey on them. But I was thinking about doing that like live, a live survey on people. Y'all really do act like a kid when it comes to licking this bowl. All right. Not really licking and the bowl, but I do how? like the extras. Okay. There's the cake ready to go in. So. Just so y'all can see, it's a whole bunch. That's how much it came to. And this is how you can tell my cake came out good. When I can eat the mix. <laughs> I ain't gonna eat too much though, cause you can get a stomach ache. Start thinking about all them raw eggs, not good for me. So I'm not gonna eat much. I'm just gonna eat a couple of scoops. Just because it is really good. Hey babe. I thought about the other day. I was looking for um and I might find it at Walmart, but I was looking for funnel cake mix. Because for the first time I had um, deep fried chocolate chip cookies. I always heard of deep fried Oreos, but I had never heard of deep fried chocolate chip cookies and them drones was banging. So I went and bought the cookies, but then I couldn't find the mix. So I'm like, uh, what if I tried it in my cake mix? But then... I'm like, you can't fry it, you know? So then I was like, well, what if I put it in the oven? But then the cake mix is going to spread out before it even cooks around the cookie. So if there's anybody out here that does cooking, I'm maybe talking to Layla. <laughs> <laughs> is there any consistency that I can probably use or get to make like a, a, a funnel cake type of thing? to put on cookies, you know? I was like, should I try something like pancakes? But then I was like, that pancake mix and just add sugar to it. But then I'm like, that will be too thick. And I'm not a fan of pancakes no more. As I'm getting older, y'all, I don't like too many things. They just don't look too good. Now, certain people can make good pancakes, so. If y'all ever see me eating pancakes, don't crucify me. Hold on, I gotta wash my hands and I'm coming back. Tamika is getting the best part. 
Yes. <laughs> Yo. It is good, but I can't. Because the other day, I really cleared the bowl. Like, I sat here and ate it. Like, I just made a cake the other day just to be making it. And, um, just to have around the house. And I was like, now I remember how my step-grandma used to be. We used to go and visit her, and we'd just be sitting there. And she'd just be bored, and she'd just take out her little cake and stuff. Her, her flour and butter and i was like what is she doing and next thing you know whipped up a cake and i used to be like why didn't i watch but it was just nice to see how you know you could just whip up your own cake out of the stuff that's in your closet in your cabinets already and it's honestly if you don't have the soda you just run out and get a sprite nowadays because seven up is hard to find sometimes so time check um Oh, let me just check the time so I know how long that cake is in. I do do that often. I don't pay attention to the time. All right, it's 12 o'clock. 12. Yep. Babe, can you bring me a napkin when you come? Sorry, y'all. I want to see y'all comments, but I got to get my phone. Because the comments scrolled up too fast. Yeah, because I get um about maybe 12 slices, nice size slices. So the first week I was selling the slices for like $5. And then I was like, I can't do that. That's too much. They were buying them, but I don't want to do that to the kids. So, um, and when I say kids, 20 year olds. And sometimes people that were older. So what I did was I made macaroni and cheese and cake. And the macaroni went, but it didn't go as fast as I thought it would. They were more into the sweets because Dean made cookies, rum cookies. So they were into the sweets. And so that's when I figured, okay, I'll not make cakes. So last week when I made two cakes, well, the week before because he didn't cook for the 4th of July weekend um i made two cakes oh almost a whole cake didn't go so i'm like i'll do one today and then when i come in tonight i'm gonna do another one for tomorrow so yeah i'm just doing one for now because i don't plan on being out there that long boo it's supposed to um be a, another thunderstorm today like we had a bad thunderstorm yesterday for hours like it was a thunderstorm warm for about three hours yesterday or so in the evening. Um, when I see the alarms were going off on the phone, kind of uh, tornado watch kind of thing. Um, so that's coming. And the one weekend I did that, I made, yeah, I made the, I think that's the weekend when I did the two cakes. It started raining and so I couldn't get rid of them. So I was stuck eating cake. It's like, nah, I gave some away because they're already in bags. Or wrapped in plastic wrap. So then I just kind of gave them away to the kids. But then it's not really a loss. Because in all actuality it might cost about $10 or so. Not even that much to make a cake. So. And definitely make anywhere between 25 and 30 back off the cake. But um, yeah, I'm just making it. Because I felt like making it. And I know the kids are going to be asking for it. So I just figured let me make it since I'm going to be out there. All right, now I can get my phone.
All right, I'm just checking on comments that I missed. I'm sorry. Oh, Tamika, you said you would have had to make two. I already had, I still have leftover cake from the other day. Oh, Lady Lonnie said, I can't lick the berry. If I do, I won't eat the cake. And that is true. <laughs> That's true. One time I did, I ate so much batter that I didn't want none of the cake. And that, <laughs> the cake didn't even taste right to me at that point. I was like, wait a minute, uh, eggs. Uh, I was going through every ingredient that I put in there and I was like, I don't want no more. <laughs> and ain't nothing wrong with them. It's just like you start thinking, I'm eating all this raw stuff and I ate it. And now, uh-uh. And I back down off my own cake. Little Dean gonna have to get up early today. That boy been sleeping in like summer is, I guess that's what summer's for, but actually he ain't go to bed till about um seven or eight this morning. Oh, you took the thing out there, babe. Oh, my charger plug. I'm thinking I'm coming in here to it. Sorry, y'all. You already had one. Yes, it doesn't cost you much. Yep, to whip it up. Right, and this time I made sure I bought the big bottles of extract. No, they're not that big, but they've been, I already made probably about six cakes off of each of them bottles, and um, and still, it's still doing good. Say so they were up at seven. <laughs> Yep, sleep all day, I told you. Right, that's what Dean will do. He'll wake up all late and be like, oh, I thought I was going to... Well, he had, had, I ain't even been sending him to the summer program because he was knocked out. I'm like, you're going to sleep at 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, I can't wake you back up at 7 to go somewhere because then he's going to be somewhere on somebody's bed. Not bed, but somebody's um bench sleep or at the nurse's office sleep somewhere so i'm like this once you can um you know get to bed at a decent time i'll, I'll send them back but i know he needs to go for the extra help but he ain't go a couple of days he only went once or so this week because he been his schedule has been way off but I'm like, during the school year, it's like that, but I can't, he can't stay home like that, so. That's how he be, too. Wakes up cranky and grouchy. And I told him that this morning. Oh, please. I'm so dozy. I'll be reading tweets and then get sidetracked. <laughs> That's how you know a dozy person. I really do. Like, I'll be trying to keep up on all the all the YouTube gossip. And be knowing it. I just don't be trying to be uh, talking about it unless somebody ask. <laughs> it's like, but yes, it's crazy out here. And all I can say is, can we all just get along? Oh, gosh. Ooh. What is up with people just coming off the top of their heads saying what they got to say nowadays? Even, um, 
like famous people. Like they just nowadays, it just seems like they just coming out saying stuff just because they want to get on the shade room or be a trending topic or just make their themselves relevant, you know. And it's crazy, sad, but true, you know. Oh, can y'all give me one second? I got to go um, get this flower and stuff off my hands. I use a napkin, but it's not off. I'll be right back. I'll bet. So, what's everybody up to today? Anybody got anything exciting planned this weekend? Jazz, I got to call you, too, if you're still on here. Because, um, I know you told me the dates. And I could check my Instagram. But um, I should be here because I'm here because I'm not going to go to Myrtle Beach until maybe the end. If I even go, if I go, I might just go to South Carolina. But I do want to take Dio to the beach. You know, we went to uh, Atlantic City. Oh, excuse me, the end of May. But that just ain't beach like I like. Next weekend. Okay. So, let me see how things are. And I'm going to try and see if we can come down for... If not for the day, maybe a night for... If not for the day, maybe a night. You know, what about the um, Atlantic City price. Oh. Yeah, I ended up here. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm tired. So, yeah. Little Dean had... Um, Well, he ain't really wake me up, but of course I wake up and I hear the TV blasting and everything like four o'clock in the morning. So then I'm up and then I'm on my phone just looking at stuff and searching the web. So well, I went to sleep for a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. I was about to say I might get off for a little bit because I'm going to get back on later when we get down there. So I told my dad, um, I don't know, but when I'm prepared, I'm going to do it. Have somebody, I want to see, I'm going to have somebody do like, um, um, uh, like a, I'm going to do, I want to do a video of people eating the ribs, but I don't know if I want to do like a contest or what. So I'm trying to think. Cause, uh. I don't know. I was about to say because his sauce, it can go anywhere from mild to hot, hot, hot. But I'm thinking to do it at the hottest and see who can eat like a whole slab of his ribs with the, his sauce. But at the hottest. Oh, cool. We got our linens. But yeah, it's steady me yawning on here the whole time. I'm going to rest for a minute. 
until the cake is done. And then, I guess I could either show a picture or when I get back on live, y'all see the cake done. Because I like to show it finished. But, um, I'll get back on later. See who's out or up. Because sometimes on Fridays, I know everybody gets kind of busy. So, as always, I love y'all from the heart, and y'all know this. But always keep God first and love yourselves. Makes it much easier to love others. I'll talk to y'all later.